time just like a minute early or so just to give people a minute to tune in. So let me go ahead and get this pulled up on the computer. As you tune in, say hi in the chat box. Don't forget to hear the, hit the thumbs up and let me know where you're tuning in from. And for anyone watching this later on replay, this is a live video. So you will not be able to see the products dry because they're being done in real time. And um, I'm here to answer questions and chit chat with the people who are here live. So if that's not your kind of video, then feel free to watch a different video. Okay. I'm trying some lemonade my husband made. It's very interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> hey Jackie, hey Katie, hey Ida, hey Jerry, hey Amanda. All right. Good evening, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna do some fun stuff today. I hope, at least. That's my plan. Get this a little further out of the way. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness, my computer's on a massive delay. And this is all kinds of crooked. <laughs> okay. I know it would make an excellent paint color. You are correct. Let me just try to make this a little less crooked. So it's slightly less frustrating. Eh, that's probably better. Okay. Um, we are going to be trying a new color. This one's called Blackberry Shadow. So very limited. It's like a really light kind of orchid. Uh, and it's a pearl color metallic. And I'm gonna do a vase, and I figured, let's do all purples, why not? <laughs> awesome, Pam. Let me refresh my computer, hopefully I'm, okay, there we go. At least now I'm more straight. Oh, hey Barbie, I'm glad you're here. So, oh, I created, I forget a special coupon just for you guys so this is not advertised on my Facebook or anywhere else okay um, I have had recently a lot of increase in my own costs literally all hey Maddie all of my bottle costs increased all of my paints have increased all of my epoxy has increased like literally just everything has increased even all of my shipping supplies have increased so I did just have to increase my prices on a lot of things by 5%, which I hate, hate, hate doing, but I can't lose money. Um, otherwise this all becomes really silly. But anyways, so tonight only. Megan, still not yet. I was hoping to, I should have last week, but there are delays in the testing world. Things are going through some testing, basically. Um, and not everyone's as fast as I am, so there you go. But anyways, let me remember what the, yeah, everything has increased. So, just for you guys though, um, use coupon code LIVEVID for 10% off mystery boxes, split cups, Bottle bottoms and horses. Okay, and that's good through the end of tomorrow. Okay, so try not to broadly share that too much. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I know everything's gone up but the paycheck. Okay, let's do this really fun vase with all purples. Okay, but seriously, take advantage of that sale. Um, also somehow I have run out of like gallon resins again, so there's only like two left in stock. If anybody wants to grab those, you can get uh, free micas with those this week. That's another little special. Yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm doing a 12 by 12 canvas, which is about nine ounces of paint. Thanks, Maddie. Uh, let's see, is this live? Yes. <laughs> it's 
slipper. Um, I'm about to start pouring right now. So <laughs> you can come back later if you want though, if you want to come back at a more exciting part. Totally up to you. All right. Uh, so I'll explain the colors that I'm using here. Now keep in mind, when you're pouring a base, and I always forget this, the colors that you put into the cup first are going to be the ones on the base. So if you put a large amount of white, then your base is gonna be all white, okay? So I'm gonna to try to put just little amounts in the beginning here. So this is that new uh, in the mystery box color, the Blackberry Shadow. Um, let's get some royal purple in here. Hey, Judy. Hey, Becky. The royal purple is pretty deep, so it's going to be a good contrasting color. And then, don't ask why, but I really felt compelled to put some copper in here as well. Hello. Glad you're joining us live. And then this is the electric purple. It's funny because in putting all this together, I realized that we really need a lighter purple that's not metallic. I have so much fun with the metallics. And then I'm putting a little bit of deep sea in here for contrast as well. So these are gonna basically be the colors on the vase. Hopefully I did a good job. Yeah, a lilac. Awesome, yeah, lilac is great. Totally just said lilac. And I was like, just play it off. Nah, you said lilac. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. All right, more royal purple. So the royal purple and the deep sea are pretty deep. So we're gonna go a little careful on those. I love the electric purple and I think it gives such a good contrast. And then yeah, I think the copper will just be fun. So I'm gonna fill up this whole cup. Hello Nadine. Love the bright pink and purple, yeah. The deep sea is a really, 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 really dark navy blue. Like it's hard to tell, it's almost black. So I like to put it next to some white and then it just looks fantastic. All right, I'm filling this whole cup up. Let's do a lot of electric purple. The colors at this stage don't matter nearly as much. Then they're gonna run down the base onto the canvas. Okay, that should be plenty. So I put my lids on and, hey Laura. I'm going to uh, start my other camera real quick so I can have some pretty cool um, TikTok content. Yes, I am using all uh, mixed media girl pouring paints here. Okay, that's a great question. How do you know how much paint to use on your canvas? I do uh, basically one ounce for every 16 square inches. So multiply the sides and then divide by 16. All right, this is gonna go here. Let me just check. I might adjust the camera for just a second. Make sure that that's fully in there. <laughs> Wrong direction, Marcy, wrong direction. All right, <laughs> give me one second. I think that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, get my TikTok ready. Boom. I'm getting pretty good at this TikTok game. It's actually having a lot of fun. Oh, hey, Veronica. All right, so you can pour this on your vase however you want. And just as a note, I did pre-clean the vase with some um, alcohol to get the fingerprints off. I did mean to clean it again because I touched it, but I forgot. So we're gonna just hope it's fine. So I'm just doing like a tree ring on the top. You don't have to pour it like this, but this is typically how I like to pour it. Getting some of those initial colors that I put on there. So we're gonna let that run down for probably about two minutes or so. 
Thanks, Maddie. It's been quite the work in progress. Yeah, I am very much digging this. Um, and if you did shake your bottles beforehand, you'll get some air bubbles, which I did. That's okay. Very fun colors. And I'm just letting this drain. Plus, we've got a couple metallics in there, right? We've got the copper and the, the new blackberry shadow color. So those are going to probably help with some cell creation as well. I don't really know on the blackberry shadow until we've like tried it out how crazy it's going to be with cells. So it's a good, good thing to try it out. Yeah, you can torch. You don't really need to though. And I prefer not to because sometimes you can get the pinholes that you really don't want. <laughs> this will pretty much stay like this. It is going to keep moving a bit more, but it's going to more or less stay around here. Hey, Maria. Okay, for anyone that tuned in, right, let me see something. Can we pin things on chats in here now? Oh, we can. We can pin messages. Did you guys know that? All right. I'm doing a little special just for you guys. It ends, um, it goes through tomorrow. Like, don't paint your computer, Murphy. Anyways, I just pinned it to the top, okay, of the chat box. I'm honestly not sure how it looks on your end. What is happening here? Nope. And all of a sudden I forgot how to use a Mac. There we go, okay. I'll put that back there. All right, so at this stage, it's mostly stopped dripping. There, it's definitely still dripping a little bit. You can wait longer if you want. Of course you need things, Katie. Um, Pam, I don't have time right now to check on your order, but if you have a question, you can always email me, okay? Uh, you can absolutely wait longer. Sometimes if I'm not doing a live video, obviously, I'll sit there for like 10 minutes and just let it go, 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 okay? But since we're on a live video, I'm gonna move it off now. Now there's a cup underneath here, so we're lifting it up by that cup carefully, okay? Move that to the side. I'll show you guys that later. Don't worry too much if you top, uh, touch the top of your vase, like where the, <laughs> where the cup is, because it's going to continue to run for a little bit. And I'm just pushing down in the middle to just kind of help it out. <laughs> yeah, want a lot mean nothing, probably true, but still. This is super pretty. Uh, you can do this on a spinner or you can just tilt. I think with this pattern that comes from the vase, I feel like I generally prefer tilting. Don't ask me why, but I just do. And I think we're gonna end up with a gorgeous like butterfly in the middle of this one. Let's see. Let's see if I can have some tilting magic here. Ooh. Oh gosh, guys, this is so pretty. Oh, I gotta tell you guys, I've been on like a roll the last few days. Let me just show you guys some of the pieces I've done. Like, I don't know what is happening, but somehow the last few days have been magical. So I did a bunch of filming yesterday and I'll show you guys the pieces that I did. So videos will be got, coming out later. And they may not be fully, fully dry, but so I did this one with um, a hair dryer. A lot of you had asked previously, many, many times, I'm gonna shift this a little bit, how I did this piece back here, okay? So I used virtually the same colors to do this piece. Obviously, it's a little bit different, mainly because it's on a much smaller canvas but I think it's amazing. Oh, yay, Donna. So I did that one and I was so, so, so happy with how it came out. Then, then I did this marble pour. 
Now, unfortunately, the flies really had it out for me on this painting, but it's still amazing. Look at this. So pretty. So I think I might resin this one. I'm kind of going back and forth, but maybe resin with a, a smidge of gold dust. I think it's super pretty. I'm so in love with all of these lines. Look how crazy that is. Okay, that one and then, but wait, there's more. Then I did a swipe. I haven't done a swipe in like forever. So I thought, why not? Look at this. Look at this crazy. It's a 10 by 20. I don't know if I can fit it all in there. But man, look at that. I'm just showing you guys like all my secrets because I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys one more. Uh oh, one more thing. I got a new product. It is um, Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. <laughs> Jerry, you're gonna have to wait and see the video. And I made some dominoes. So this is a chameleon powder, so it changes color in the light. But what I did on this, I don't wanna give it all away, but I pre-painted the front with three different colors. And then I poured the back a solid color. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna demold one more. I wanna demold these all, but I need to save them for the video. <laughs> Look how pretty, so excited. Okay, all right, I'm done with all of that. Sorry to totally disrupt our current painting. It's just too exciting. Okay. <laughs> um, that video is not out yet. So all the four things I just showed you, those videos have not been released. They were literally just filmed. So they still gotta get edited and everything. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been working on my editing to have some better videos. And yeah, super exciting. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And then let me try to remember what my other idea was for the next canvas. I also thought of maybe doing a little giveaway for you guys because I do really appreciate that you guys spend this live time with me. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to do the giveaway. I don't want to do the pick a number thing, or maybe I do, I don't know. That one always makes me go kind of crazy, but it might be the best option. Let me just get this to safety, and then we'll think about it. Hopefully you guys are behaving more or less. There we go. Safe and sound. Look at these pretty skins. Oh, that one right there is so fun. <laughs> no, I don't plan on editing out my personality. I don't think that's even possible. <laughs> Uh, yes, we'll do a close up on the base. Let me just think of the best way to do that. Now, here's how if I want to uh, save this, which I definitely do because it's super pretty, I'm literally going to just cut it out and set it aside. That's, that's how I roll. <laughs> do a dip. I know, but. It's not quite enough paint. It's actually got a lot of paint, and there's some skins there I super duper want to keep. This, 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 oh, and that. So I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> so here's a mixed media girl trick. Move this to the side and don't step on it. Now watch this magic. <laughs> Boom. 
it's like I was never here. Okay, so give me just a second to remember the other project I was going to do. It's a 10 by 20 canvas. I had a plan. I don't remember. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to do a tumbler, you guys. Don't ask what happened here. I couldn't decide between blue and white. So it happened. Okay. All right. And we're going to do this. I'm, I'm thinking it might end up being kind of an angel wing pour. <laughs> what happened where, Katie? Okay. This is my concept. Will it work? I don't know. So we have cup turner. Um, this right here is literally just my sheeting modification. So because these have a little bit wider opening than my vases, I put this paper towel on there and that keeps it nice and secure. Okay. This probably because I've used it a couple times. <laughs> right, Rebecca? I'm going to put one more paper towel over it. Secure. And then I think I'm going to use those same colors I used on the vase on here. So pro tips, if your foam doesn't work, either buy a different one or just modify it like I do. So now this is nice and secure. It's not going to move on the foam at all. Okay. Oh, hold on just a second. Forgot to stop my other camera. <laughs> it's recording everything. Okay, I think I want to raise this vase even a little bit. Yeah, stone washed, right? Even a little bit more. So, what am I doing? I'm gonna put some sticks under here. Let me put the same amount on both sides. Five and four, okay. <laughs> no problem, Pam. I have lots of tips. So I want this, like I want the paint to run down as I'm pouring, okay? That's the plan anyways. Okay, I think that's as good as it gets. And I think I'm going to do this as a good as it gets. And I think I'm going to do this as a clean, clean pour. Yep, that's plugged in. I don't know, what do you guys think? Clean or dirty pour? Kind of on the fence a little bit. Kind of on the fence a little bit. I think the dirty pour will look better on the canvas, but I think the clean pour will look better on here. So that's why I'm kind of like, hmm, what did you do? Dirty. Dirty. I think the dirty pour will look awesome. But you know, I can actually do a combo too. So far, we definitely have more dirty. <laughs> All right. Let's go with dirty, why not? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this same cup. I'm going to, now keep in mind, once again, that pretty much what I put in the cup first will be what comes out last, a combo. <laughs> All right, we'll see. I'm gonna just play it by ear or something. So I'm gonna fill up this, pretty much this entire cup again. Trying to go a little faster. And I'm kind of wondering if this will end up coming like a, what do they call it, like an angel pour or wing pour because of the angle of the canvas, but it might not be at enough of an angle. Kelly, that's a great question. So she says, what's the difference between a clean pour and a dirty pour? 
So a dirty pour is when you pour all the colors together in the cup. A clean pour is when you pour the colors one at a time on here. So there's no like right or wrong with either. They're just different methods, that's all. A ribbon pour. Well, we're gonna be pouring over the cup, so I guess naturally it will do ribbons. But we're not specifically going for ribbons, I guess. Okay, almost there. Lots of whites. This vase is looking pretty good. I got a lot of that new color in there. Okay, let's start with that. Give me just a second here to reset my scene. Make sure that I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit. It's gonna shake. Hi, Gabrielle. Okay. Oops. Do this. There we go. I'm pretty excited about this. Have not done a pour on here with acrylic in quite a while. So the cool thing about this is you've got a bit more control. You can kind of keep pouring over a spot until you are happy with it. The canvas, we're not gonna really have as much control with. It's just gonna kinda do its thing. Ooh. Now keep in mind, with the cup turner, these colors are going to mix a lot more than they would pouring upside down like the vase, which is why I typically don't do the acrylic on the cup turner. And if I do, I usually do clean, but these colors, if they blend a lot together, it's, it's going to be totally fine. Like they're not gonna clash. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us live. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah, so this is basically a ribbon pour over this. Now, it is not at all doing the whole wing thing like I hoped. I don't think it's at enough of an incline. <laughs> and I can't raise it too much more without hitting that. So, you know what? We're going to leave that. I think that's pretty perfect. So now what to do with the rest of the paint in my cup? Or do we just let it spin for a minute and then decide? I think I'm not totally happy with the top part here. So I wanna do a little more on that. I'm happy with the bottom though. There we go. That I think is pretty cool. Oh, one more spot over here. And try not to pour on your foam, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Flip cup, done. <laughs> oh, you absolutely need a cup turner. If anybody here does not have a cup turner, your life is incomplete. I hate to say it, but seriously, there's a few things that I would say are like my best investment ever. This cup turner, one of them. Don't know why I didn't do it before. And then this particular cake spinner is the other one. Okay, while we're letting that turn and drip, because I wanna let it do that for quite a while. Give me just a second, let me stop my phone camera so it doesn't run out. Okay. Um, let's do a quick giveaway. I have got a couple really cute items. 
So, um, Jerry, about, honestly, about a week or so. You could wait longer. In California, it's pretty hot. Plus, because it's spinning like this, it ends up being pretty thin. Okay? <laughs> All right. I think some people are still definitely on a delay and may, may need to refresh. So I've been making a lot of magnets recently, which I haven't really showed you guys all of them because I just haven't yet, but they're pretty awesome. So I have this cute little skull one that I love. It's not perfect, but it's awesome. And the magnet moved a little bit, which was annoying, but it is a very, very strong magnet and it's resined on there. So it's going to stick for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. Um, and then I've got a cute little mermaid tail, which I haven't added the magnet for yet, but I will be. And on this, I pre-paint the mold with the, I pre-painted it with chameleon mica and then put the resin in and I think it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome, Billy. I've done quite a few different ones. Here, I'll show you another school one that I haven't also haven't attached the uh, magnet to. This is another chameleon one. So it's actually pretty see-through. Super cute. All right. So let's do a... We'll pick, um, I don't know you guys. I don't know how to do this on here. Yeah, Julie, let me grab you that real quick. And while I think about this giveaway here. Um, and just so you guys know in the link, in every single video I have a link for my Amazon store and I have links for different countries. So you can find pretty much everything that I use in there with the exception of the paint. And just so you know though, my resin is on Amazon, but it's cheaper on my website. <laughs> so get it on my website, not on Amazon. Amazon takes such a big cut. Okay. There you go, Julie. Um, Maria, I actually don't. Someone gave it to me. I'm so sorry, I don't have the link for either of those. Uh, yes, Kim, the colors I use today are white, royal purple, copper, deep sea, uh, the electric purple, and then this blackberry shadow color. All right, so we'll do two little giveaways, okay? And you'll be able to pick either a mermaid tail or a skull, and I'll send you one at ram random. So we're gonna start we're gonna just do one for now. I'll finish the canvas and then we'll do the other one. So pick a number between one and 90. And I'm going to watch this the best I can. I'm in live chat. Don't get upset if I somehow mess up, but I'm gonna watch for the numbers and I'll let you know when I see my number. So go. <laughs> it can go pretty fast though. Just don't get upset. It's just a game. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what country you're in. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Watching super closely. You can do more than one guess, of course. And if two people get the same number, I just pick whichever one came first. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I must have picked a difficult number. <laughs> I don't see it yet. <laughs> Some very close one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Between one and 90, you guys. <laughs> okay. I still haven't seen it. Wow, okay. Super close though. Yeah, I'm having a massive delay on mine too. But that shouldn't affect this. Okay, Julie. Yeah, the number was 38. 
So acrylic painting with Julie, yay. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. So Julie, I probably have a bit, email me your shipping address and then whether you want a skull or a mermaid tail and I will get that shipped out to you, okay? All right, let's finish this canvas and then we'll do one more giveaway, okay? All right, and numbers are gonna keep flying for a little while. That's okay. <laughs> Yay, Julie. <laughs> Every, there seems to be like quite the delay on the audio and the picture, but it is what it is. All right, so ooh. what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully move this to the side. Just gonna slide this out. <laughs> I know the numbers are crazy. And then I am not sure if this is enough paint to cover this, but I'm gonna try. And also underneath my cup turner so it doesn't get all messy. Yeah, there was like some 37s, some 39s. I'm gonna put a little piece of plastic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the same thing, Katie. So maybe I'll throw, especially around here, let's throw a little more purple. You know what, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's do another dirty cup pour. Hey, Carrie. I am in a mood today. I hope it's a good one. I think so. And I think I might try to kind of tilt and pour here. I wish I had some more whites. But I'm about out. <laughs> Yeah, Laura, definitely try it out. You will love it. Okay, I forgot what I put in here already. <laughs> I think so too, Katie. <laughs> it's just been, um, it's been a good few days. But do you guys ever get that feeling like where things are going good so you kind of worry? Like, what's going to go wrong? <laughs> Which I know is a total self-fulfilling prophecy, and you really shouldn't. Oh, yes, Veronica, white would be great. You really shouldn't have thoughts like that. But unfortunately, I guess I'm human, and I do. No, we're not still guess guessing yet, but we are going to do one more giveaway, okay? So save your guesses. It'll be a new number, obviously. Oh, my goodness. It is fly season. Okay, we have some more whites coming up. Um, I'm gonna just start my camera one more time. Here comes the cops. I didn't do it, I swear. Still. Okay. <laughs> you were still here <laughs> okay and then don't remind me or don't remind me. don't forget to remind me you guys to show you the vase before I end off okay all right um okay how do I want to do this and if you see that criminal of a fly let me know I kind of want to I'm not super thrilled with this pattern, so I kind of want to go through it. But let me kind of fill in some of this up here. Becky, you have to turn up the volume on your device. I can't turn up your volume for you from here. And I'm not, I'm talking like a normal person. <laughs> so you got to turn up the volume on your device. All right, I'm gonna pour in a tree ring from up here with a little bit of a tilt. And hopefully I've put enough paint in this cup. It's gonna be interesting, okay, you guys? That's all I can say. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I 
and once again we're going to have some killer runoff. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could talk louder, but I'd rather save my voice. Okay, so plan of action, finish this painting, one more giveaway, and then show the vase. Ooh, this is awesome, you guys. Completely unexpected, but fun. There we go. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> yeah, that would totally make an awesome galaxy. If it wasn't quite as light as it is, that would be totally quite the galaxy. All right. So let me just touch up sides and corners. I know I'm probably missing some over there. That's okay. We'll get them. Just this one. Okay. All right, I think I can do this. Let me just do this before I forget. There's the base. Okay. So I'm going to carefully, of course I took my glove off for no good reason, and carefully rotate this so you can see all sides. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. I really like this. So there's that. Oh, let me put this back. Hey, Jenny. I feel like I've missed you for a while. Uh, one more reminder to you guys is I got the class coming up in Sedin um, in September, and that is actually filling up pretty quickly, so please make sure you get registered, okay? It's going to be so much fun literally so much fun i can't even tell you <laughs> my tripod does have paint all over it you are correct so you can see all the data about the seguin class in on my website mixedmediagirl.com let me go ahead and raise this canvas up and then we will do our final giveaway and for anyone who tuned in late there is a uh, a special discount code just for you guys that's good through the end of tomorrow and it's pinned to the top of the chat. And we're about to do one more giveaway. <laughs> okay, this is so pretty. I'm telling you guys, I'm on a roll. I don't even know what, why, like. Uh, Maria, I am planning, I think near Tampa, I have a possible location. Sabine is in Texas. Um, yeah, I have a possible location in Florida. I will definitely let you guys know about that as soon as I know. It's been something I've been trying to plan for months, and if so, it will be in November as long as the location and all the details pan out, okay? But come on, you guys want to go to Rhonda's. Seguin is where Rhonda RK3 Designs is, and she is the most fun person in the world seriously plus at her place there are cows there are horses there are dogs there are cats there are not all in the studio just in case anyone's wondering there are ponies <laughs> so and she's got like a bazillion acres um i don't have any plans for washington Anytime. Well, Jerry, I'm so sorry I can't come to every single city. It just doesn't work that way. But if I come to your state, you gotta make it to the glass. <laughs> okay. Uh, I stay at Rhonda's. She actually has places there to rent. Like their her neighbors have a little apartment thing to rent, and she's got a couple houses on the property and stuff. So. Um, she generally has space, or if you need to, I can get you hotel information. All right, let me think of another number, and then we'll do our final giveaway. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. 
Um, let's see. I'm writing it down out of the camera view. There's 100 people here. Nope, that's not a good number. Um, okay, I think this is an easier one. So pick a number between 1 and 100, and you'll get to pick also um, a little gift. <laughs> See if this is an easier one for you guys to get. <laughs> and the between one and blank number is just how many people are here. That's all. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are two settings on the chat box. There's a top chat and a live chat. So make sure you're in the live chat if you have any questions. But whatever. Not yet. Some very close ones. <laughs> I thought this one would be easier. <laughs> almost, almost. Oh, okay. Well, we got it. Hold up. It went too fast. Uh, Shanda K Designs. The number was 70. Awesome. Okay. So email me. Info at thepainterinyou.com. Email me with your shipping address. <laughs> oh. No, 1917 is not a valid option. <laughs> Email me with your shipping address and whether you would like a mermaid or a skeleton, and I will get that shipped out to you, okay? Yeah, there were some very close ones. <laughs> nope, we're done now, Laura. I think you were way behind on the time. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I think I did everything. I showed the vase. Um, just any, if you have any questions on this cup real quick, I just wanna answer them. Uh, so I'm gonna let this rotate all night long. I let this rotate until it is completely dry. Now, a quick pro tip is watch the bottom of it. Sometimes you can get a little paint bump on the bottom, in which case I, I do kind of scrape it off I'm not too worried about it right now. There's like a little bump, but keep in mind too, we are going to be resining this. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And if you want to see the dry products done in today's video, um, I will come back, let's do Saturday. I'll come back Saturday and I'll show you everything dry, okay? Um, do you worry about the vase drips? I don't. If you're having like big drips of paint on the top of your vase, then your paint might be too thick. But also you could easily take a razor and just shave it off. And then uh, any tips on painting over more square vases? Do you spray paint them first? Oh, that's a great idea. I probably would spray paint them. But what you could do is um, you can just manually cover the whole vase with one of your colors first and then do your pour. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Becky. Um, so the code, yeah, no problem. Shanda, Shanda the, uh, it's info at thepainterinyou.com. Um, you can also just always go to mixedmediagirl.com and hit me up through the contact page if you can't get it right for some reason, but... Um, so let me get that discount one more time. The code is LIVEVID, and that is good for mystery, the mystery boxes. So not all pouring paint, just the mystery boxes. It's good for um, split cups and bottle bottoms, and then any courses, okay, you guys? Um, so if you just go to mixedmediagirl.com, and you look up any of those categories, the code will apply. And it's good through the end of tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Karen. Yeah, you're a little late, that's okay. Uh, Amber said, do you leave on the spinner for resin as well? I do. And I'm going to just, this little bump here is worrying me a little, so I'm gonna just take it off with a stick here without messing up my design, hopefully. Okay, so if you do get that kind of little bump no the 10 percent off is just for any of my online courses but great question specifically online courses all 
All right, you guys. I really appreciate you joining me. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. So have a fantastic night. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you on probably Saturday to show you all the dry versions. And I'll see you all next time. Aw, thanks, Maddie. All right, have a good night, guys.